Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML by building a cat photo app. Step 37. All right. So the input element allows us several ways to collect data from a web form, right? Like image elements, input elements are self-closing and do not need closing tags, all right? Uh, we're gonna nest an input element in the form element. All right, so let's go over here to the input. Input uh, HTML right here. Input, input, all right? So this one's pretty important. Gonna, gonna be real real with you about that one. Let's uh, go to the definition and usage. So the input tag specifies an input field where the user can enter data. The input element is the most important form element, definitely. And uh, the input element can be displayed in several ways, depending on the type attribute, right? So we've got a bunch of different types right here. And let's uh, go to the example to check some of them out. So right here, we've got uh, the type of text, right? And so this text box right here, that's what we're going to be doing, is we're going to be making a text box right here where we can like type whatever we want in there. Uh, and then we've got a bunch of different other ones like buttons, checkbox, colors, date, date time, and then you can read the rest of the list if you feel like it. So here's uh, some tips and notes. So we're gonna always use the label tag to define labels for input type equals text, checkbox, radio, file, and password. All right. And here's a bunch of the uh, attributes and what the, their definitions are or what they do, or what their de descriptions are. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, it's not clearly it's not it. You, you could go for hours checking that stuff out. But let's uh, come over here and we're going to make uh, an input element just like this input. And that's all we need for now. Uh, we'll do some more later. So let's uh, check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 38. And we'll see you next time.